Alright tubes, here's the head of that yammer that, that we welded up, we brazed up and sort of looked like hell. Yeah. We weren't able to get a, a cutter for it, you know, a valve cutter because that's metric. Right, yeah. the, the valve stem is metric. Yeah, the valve stem is metric and the... But it came out nice, look at all yeah. that surface area there. Yeah, but Daddy Dirt Bike uh, ground that down with a Dremel. Yep. And both Mike and him were... Uh, Lapped it back Lapping in. it, yeah. lapping it up and it actually... Let me see if I can get a close-up there, Mike. You're in the sunlight. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in my own light here, but I wanted that. Oh, okay. And it actually came, it came out really good. Really good. So we're going to try to get this thing running. Yep. It's actually engine engine night, but it's engine day right now. That's right. It's, uh, what's today's date? The 16th? It is the 16th. 16th of November, and it's 70 degrees out here. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right. So, uh... We're going to finish lapping this up here and uh, put it on the engine. We've got a water pump all hooked up to it. So we can pump some water in there and uh, hopefully we can get it running. There's a tank. We're getting a tank hooked up. We should get this thing running. Alright, we've got the head back on. Yeah. Might just put the push rods in. The rocker arm on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, sorry for the harsh light. We got uh, we're out here. And we got some low sunlight. Okay. We're on pretty soon. Yeah. I'll make sure it has compression first. <laughs> yeah, make sure there's nothing else wrong with it. I think it's sealed. I think it's in a tank camp pretty well actually. I think so. I'm surprised we're able to do that. Yeah. Without a valve cutter. Patience, I guess. That's it. Uh, Mike's working on the fuel injector here. What's going on with the fuel injector, Mike? Well, I wasn't putting out any fuel at first. So, I took it off the off the block and was moving the plunger by hand, and I got it to start putting yes. fuel. Got it. Mm. What do you think, it was just uh, seized up a little bit? Looks mm, like we're, we're, we're going to see. Off. I'm gonna, Looks like our gasket is out. I'll have to put it, put it back together, and we'll see if it pumps fuel by itself there. Might not be getting the right amount of travel for the pump. Hmm. We'll see. We'll get it going. We'll figure it out. Get that socket on there. Oh, to the belt. Let me get some of these tools out of here. How about that? Yeah. All right, let's clean this area up and in there. Cut. You smell that? Uh, Cut. Yeah. Want to put an elbow on there or no? I smell it. I smell hmm. it. I smell it. Ready to go. Might have to bolt the engine down. We're using a, a, a little motor yeah, here to turn it. It's that stopped that motor dead. <clears throat> Oh, oh man! We got a pop out of it, so it wants to start. Yeah, our problem is our engine here. We don't have the engine bolted or the motor. The starter motor, we don't have to bolt it down. We're just uh, to holding it in place. We're getting something. Looks like rich that time. No, uh, it's gonna it's gonna smoke. Oh, Phil. There we go. Yammer diesel. Not even blowing that much smoke. I don't know if a water pump is working. I know why, because somebody didn't tighten the set screw on the shaft. Oh. Man. Uh, All right, take two. I'll do that. Take two. I'll take to that one. All right, we tightened up our water pump and uh, put an exhaust pipe on it over here. Now we got to put our makeshift starter on. Get ready to spin it, though. 
I'm ready. Everybody ready? Go ahead. There we go, we got, got fuel. There we go. Disconnect the starter. Got a water pump working. as bad as that valve was. I'll try and get some uh, film of that valve before we, uh, we fix it. Alright. Let's see if we can get a attack reading here. Uh-huh. 